Hello, and welcome to cloning a fluorescent gene. Before we get started taking green fluorescent protein and putting it into bacteria, I want to give you a little bit of a, an overview on how to use some of the equipment that we're going to be seeing in the biotechnology lab. The main tool that you guys are going to be using is the air displacement pipette. We use these in research labs to move liquids from place to place and I wanted to give a brief demonstration of how they work. Air displacement pipettes move liquids from place to place in pipette tips. <clears throat> they have numbers written here so you can see how much liquid you're going to be moving from place to place. They work by affixing a tip to the end of the, uh, end of the pipette. These plastic tips are disposable and should be changed for every reagent that you use. <clears throat> By pressing the end of the pipette down to its first stop, you expel exactly the number of microliters written here on the side of the pipette. By pressing it to the second stop, you expel all of the liquid from the end of the tip. Change the, the volume setting on the pipette by twisting the dial on the back. To use the pipette, holding the pipette in one hand and your tube with a liquid in the other hand, open the tube, <clears throat> press the end of the pipette down to its first stop to expel air, keeping the, the top pressed down to the first stop, insert the tip all the way into the bottom of the tube slowly lift up and you'll be sucking liquid into the tube. <clears throat> now as you can see my hand is off the stopper, or off the plunger. To get liquid into a new tube insert the tip all the way to the bottom and then Push down the plunger, expelling liquid, all the way to the second stop. Which puts the liquid nicely in the bottom of the tube. When you're done using one reagent, you'll need to eject the disposable tip on the end of your pipette and replace it with a new one. Tips are ejected by pressing this button at the back end of the pipette, which moves a barrel down, pushing the tip off the end. So when you're done using one reagent, you're ready to change tips. Simply position your pipette over your waste receptacle and press on the end of the pipette, which ejects the tip. Here's some extra tips and tricks for dealing with the microcentrifuge tubes that you'll be using throughout the lab. Sometimes you need to mix the tubes, and the easiest way to do that is to do what we call flicking. Simply tap the tube with your finger right at its bottom, and it will move the liquid around, getting it mixed up nicely. <clears throat> if you ever are in a situation where there's liquid in the top of the tube, you're going to need to flick the tube downwards like so, <clears throat> which brings the liquid off of the cap and into the bottom of the tube. This will be helpful especially when you're dealing with very small volumes. <clears throat> 